Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot, and let's see what we're going to read today. Today's book is Here Comes the Tooth Fairy Cat, written by Deborah Underwood. In this story, Cat loses a tooth and gets a coin from the Tooth Fairy, but what he really wanted was to meet her. Will he be successful? Let's see what happens. Cat, you lost a tooth. Did the Tooth Fairy come? She left you a coin. What's the matter? You wanted to meet her? Aw, Cat, I understand. Too bad she only comes when you've lost a tooth, huh? Oh boy, what are you up to? You're going to leave her the tooth of a comb? Cat, I don't think you should try to trick a fairy. Cat, did you hear me? Oh dear. Good night, Cat. I hope you're not making a mistake. Good morning, Cat. The Tooth Fairy didn't come? Well, I'm not too surprised. Hey, who's at the door? Look at that. What does the card say? Dear Cat, nice try with the comb. I am the Tooth Fairy, not the Tooth Fairy. But if you help me with a few deliveries, maybe we can meet. Love, Tooth Fairy. How about that? You'll be the Tooth Fairy Cat. <laughs> Better try on your costume. Um, wow. Hey, what's that note? P.S. You'll have some help. Huh, I wonder what that means. Oh my, uh, hello mouse. Did you try to trick the Tooth Fairy too? Looks like you two have a lot in common. So who's first on the Tooth Fairy's list? Hmm, I wonder if a certain fairy is watching. Looks like you have three stops to make. You better get going. What is it, Cat? No, you may not eat the mouse. <laughs> Your first stop is a gopher? Cat, you'd have a hard time getting down that hole. Good thing Mouse is here. Cat, Mouse can climb into the hole perfectly well without your uh, help. You got the tooth. Nice work, Mouse. Who's next? A squirrel? Wow, that nest is pretty high. This looks like a job for Cat. Cats are very good climbers, Mouse. We won't need a cannon. Great work, Cat. Who's going to get the last tooth? Wait, whose tooth is it? It's a bear's tooth? I don't think either of you should do this. It sounds too dangerous. Mouse, that's very brave of you. Wildcat, Mouse has been in there a long time, huh? I hope everything's okay. Oh no, Mouse's skirt is stuck under the bear. Cat, be careful. Mm -hmm. 
Hooray! Sorry, I mean hooray! Tickling the bear was a brilliant idea, Cat. Great work, you two. Now I guess it's time to pack up your Tooth Fairy costumes. Mouse, aren't you going to take off your costume? Oh my goodness! See, Cat? Fairies are very tricky. That's why it's so hard to trick them. Wow, Cat, you get to keep the bear's tooth. Hey, let me take a photo for your scrapbook. Bye, Tooth Fairy. I'll bet Cat won't be tricking you again anytime soon. You want to see the picture? Of course. Let's take a look. Oh, Cat. That fairy sure was tricky and smart. And how scary was it trying to get the bear's tooth? I'm not sure I would have gone into that cave. But in the end, Cat did the right thing and helped out Mouse. Lesson learned, never try to trick a fairy. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you like this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. See you soon on...